Welcome back to the Duck Call Room, ladies and gentlemen. We're 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 here. We're Stone, back. Stone is embracing the role of farm director. That's it. Um, he's a farm. good. Thank I'm you. into it. Right. Well, this is some size hammy downs. But I don't I don't think that most farm well, I don't know. Today's farmer may drink Celsius. You know, you can't ever tell. Stone rocking the <laughs> yeah. most of them have Vienna sausage can in that front yep. pocket or Ooh, no, sir. Some Levi Garrett or you know mm-hmm. I'm well, no, I'm all on that too. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's what originally what that pouch was for. Mm-hmm. Chew in the back. Yeah. The overall front pouch. Yeah. I, I'm I'm that's a fan funny. of overalls making a comeback. That's for I'm a, just, a, a sack of tobacco. Mm-hmm. Yes, you chew. Yep. I don't chew tobacco. Yeah. Well, farmers do. That's yep. true. But I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of overalls making a comeback. Hey. I, I, th- I think they should. They're very comfortable. They are comfortable. Well, they Get a little are. breeze down yeah. the side. Yeah. You can open up that flap on hey, the side. Especially if you, hey, if you wear them naked. Hey. Yeah, if you yeah. ain't got no nothing ain't up no, on no, it. Hey, and most of them farmers I know, hey, that's, hey freedom. Bro. Hold on. It's about freedom. They don't wear underwear under. Don't wear, don't wear it. Denim yeah. overalls. Hey, because it gets too hot. They have to work for a living. Yeah, we need to tell them about Tommy John. Gobble no. don't. Gobble don't wear drawers under camo shorts. So hey. I mean, mm. what's the? Hey, what's the deal on that? Yeah, I freedom. mean, mm. people, all about freedoms, huh? People go in commando everywhere. That's it that. ain't no big deal. Yeah. The only people that do is because they ain't tried Tommy John. Then they realize, nah, that's all oh, right yeah. there, but. Oh, they got a special yeah. new pair out now, by the way. What? what is oh, wow. What a <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. I've seen this it on the This is not an ad, people. This is very nice. Hey, I've seen it on the television app. It's got a new pair out. Okay. Hey, good. Maybe we'll get some of them, well, too. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey. Maybe next time we read one, we'll get some of them. Hey. You know what? Send I just, them all. You know, denim without drawers. You know, that's just. That's, I'm against it. it seems right. seems like a. a Holy oh, cow. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're obviously. Yeah, we're Excuse me. That's what again. somebody thought about that comment. Yeah, yeah. well, no. <laughs> yep. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. I sound like Taco Bell coming back. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, oh. Get it. Oh, come hey, on. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get four guys together and something sound like a fart and then somebody not raise up on one leg like But you don't have to raise That's straight it. at me. He, he got to hike it up. <laughs> well, that'll tell you what he thinks of you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What tool was that? <laughs> some kind of drill. That was a drill. Oh, boy. Into a cinder block. <laughs> yeah, some kind of hammer Oh, drill. they're right outside There's y'all's wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just right before I left the house, we, me and my wife were watching a football game. Okay? A football and, yeah, game? And we hear, bam, 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 bam. So, what in the world is that? She got up, went out on the porch, you know, come back, went out on the front porch, Come back, and I said, it's bound to be the next door neighbor, John and them. She said, no, nah, you know, I think they went to the lake. You know, they're gone. And I sit there for a few minutes more, and then here it starts again. Bam, I miss loud. Well, I said, well, I got to go do the podcast. You know, so I, I go out <laughs> hit the truck and crank it up. Christine comes out laughing and yelling at me. And she said, I found out what it is. I said, what is it? She said, Sweet Pink got in the cabinet and was trying to get out. <laughs> the, the cat was knocking. Hey, and it sounded like a carpenter making, building something. Sweet Pea is big. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I mean, what you think was going to happen? That's well, a fat hey, cat. Well, it took me, though. Because you're talking about racket. That cat made some rackets, huh? Well, what if somebody locked you in a well, box? Hey. You going to try to get out of there, too? Well, I'd probably uh, make sweet some rackets, too. What do you reckon Sweet Pea was in there after? Just I, a quiet place to sleep? or? Hey, just to get out of... Get yeah. away from you? Yeah. Get away from Daryl's no, garage? No, no, he's got a foot <laughs> fetish. My cat has got a foot fetish. Okay, I'm, I'm interested. No, no, because look, every time I get home, kick off my shoes mm-hmm. and get in my recliner. Yeah. Your feet? Yeah. Here he comes. He runs in there and just, he literally lifts my feet up. That's because they smell like fish. No. Well, <laughs> no. Because, hey, I sit there for hours just running my foot over his hair back and forth. Well, if you do that, crap, I'll come lay under your feet if you rub my back. Unbelievable. Well, hey, that's what he does. He's got a foot fetish problem. Uh, okay. Well, I've seen your feet. They ain't bad. They're better than your brother's. Yeah. No, but, boy, I'm, yeah, so is this Black Panthers who's in the real. <laughs> hey. but, They're oh, out there, man. boys. <laughs> Where? Mm. I wish I had a pet one. A pet what? Panther? Pet Black Panther. Mm. Sigh. <laughs> I'm serious. I'd love to have one of them. 
You do. You need a a, a jet black leopard as a pet. The jungle cat. No, it's good, Jason. Great. When he went to what Cancun, Mexico. He yeah. went down there. And they, I guess they've got somewhere around there. They've got one of them big. Uh, what is a jaguar? Yeah. Yeah, and he says he said so much for your black panther thing. He said you need to go to Cancun and see that big jaguar. I said, well, I seen the little version. <laughs> I seen the baby. I, one. Yeah, I don't feel I just seen the little version. I, 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 I don't mind. <laughs> Where would you keep it? I said, hey, look, depending on here's the, here's a news flash for all of y'all for the wildlife out in the wild in God's creation, depending on their food source. Hey, it's, it, they can just keep growing, boys. Get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey. The problem is. Because, hey, you, rattlesnakes. Yeah. Oh, hey, if they got a good food source, because a buddy of mine that works pipelines, he sent me a picture of one, and, hey, it was that big around and about eight foot long. It took three guys. One of them had his head, the other had the middle, and the other had his tail. It was bigger around than my waist, hey, for those of you listening I'm and not you, hey, tuning in I, on YouTube. If, I, if you could circle that, he was bigger than that t -joke. He was a two-foot wide, and eight about foot eight long. foot long. Did they show you this at a poker game? No, no. Just yeah. show me how to photo of it, them I, holding it. I know, but was it at a poker game? No, it wasn't at a poker game. Oh, I was wondering, because you know, most gamblers I'm are lying. Honest. I'm lying. It was at a poker game. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now now we're starting to consider the source of where these things No, I was like Phil when I told him some of my nom stories. And then I told him, I said, well, I was at the time I was over there, I kept a fifth of whiskey in my, in my, you know, fatigue pocket. Was and that a lie? And, and at the end of the day, that fifth of that bottle would be empty. And he said, now I understand your Vietnam story. Yeah, that's a long They're the reason. Whiskey that, was involved. There was no alcohol allowed in <laughs> Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah. <laughs> The Vietnam. No, y'all boys, hey, y'all had it rough. <laughs> Yo, they, they, was done, they done y'all wrong. Couldn't drink on the job. Yeah, couldn't drink on the job. They done y'all wrong. heard their lesson hey, from that, that well, night. Like I said, <laughs> hey, you know what was what we call hard time. Look, we, okay. we got, look, and look, we, we got a 24-pack of old duels, <laughs> which is... Non alcoholic beer. <laughs> and we drank so much of it, we thought in our mind, you know, got drunk? Surely. <laughs> we, we eventually going to get a buzz off it. Well, hey, look. But now, what you need to do is try, trade that in for, okay, just get any kind of Coca Cola drink. <laughs> Sprite, seven up, and hey, then drink about two cases, three cases of them. Hey, it'll give you a buzz. You it will drunk. not give you a buzz. It will. Yeah, it does. Hey, I've done it in college, son. What are you talking about? It won't. You ate, you drank thirty six Mountain Dews and it gave. Hey, I give you kidney stones. We drank no, we drank about seven cases in a fifty four hour time frame. And, and got, my buddy, and you were drunk. Hey, was we drunk? We was buzzing. I'm telling you. <laughs> and we all know buzz driving equals drunk driving. Hey, that's that's right. Right. hey buzz is the same thing as drunk driving. Oh, fifty four oh. Mountain Dews. Hey, that would hurt you. Oh no, hey. If you drink about three cases, piece, three and a half cases, hey, I'm telling you, you'll get, you'll, I bet get you look, you'll, you'll be on the sugar high that you ain't, no. I bet you look like my kid's sprinkler toy out there that goes like Oh, that. hey, look. <laughs> All over the place. Oh, that's more oh like, I went to the restroom frequently. Yeah, I would think okay. I would, you need a catheter to well, get no, that no, out no, of it. Hey, it's like that right there. That explains a lot. Though. You empty two of uh -oh. them in a day and a, and a night. So, si, what do you think about bringing whiskey to this podcast? Uh, this is a well, family. Like if, those, if those are your, are, no, no, if those are your the, Vietnam here's stories, the, I'm just interested to see where we could get in an hour. That's his past, man. No, I understand. No, he ain't got to get wasted. My, just sit on it. I had my what? Uh, I'm trying to think of the terminology to use. Let's say I've had my wild shot at life. <laughs> so this okay. is your calm years. <laughs> oh yeah, this, yeah, this is a bunch calm. of tea. Oh yeah, man. I bet them wild ones were fun. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> if these are your calm ones, I bet oh. them wild ones were. No, the no, oh, wild boy. ones were stupid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what them was. Okay. Yeah. Real, real stupid. Okay. Oh man, alive. I love it. <laughs> Unbelievable. You had a fifth of whiskey every day in Nam. Well, hey, I kept one. I kept it in my pocket. That way you wouldn't have to go look for it. Hey. Your kidneys truly are a marvel. Well, look, hey, 
when it wasn't whiskey. <laughs> Mankind. Okay? The Tupperware cup I carry around, I used to have that in my pocket full of tea. And my first thought was always screaming, Robertson, give me that stupid Tupperware cup. I said, hey, you had not called attention yet. Don't worry about it. It'd be gone when you call attention. Where would you put it in? Put it in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I had more trouble with that. Man, you're uh, you're a delight. A gem. Oh, man, that is so. I mean, that's first ten minutes gone. So we got to take a break. We got to take time for a break. Oh, we got to pay for this thing somehow. We'll be back right after. Martin. Yeah. Them kids more expensive than you think, ain't they? Oh, buddy. Especially I, when they start knocking their heads out, losing teeth for no reason when they're not supposed to. Nick, you bill. It all oh. gets expensive. Oh, man. I, I, they're to the point now where they're pulling up on everything. And so I just look at them I'm like, well, this, we're, we're one second away from an ER visit right here. But Concussion. Look, here's the cool thing. When a medical need does come up, the last thing we want to worry about is how we're going to pay for it. And that's where Samaritan Ministries comes in. It's a community of Christians paying for each other's medical bills. This is not insurance. It's assurance that you're part of a healthcare sharing community where members care for one another spiritually and financially. When a medical need arises, here's how it works. You can join at any time. Your medical bills are sent to Samaritan Ministries, and they notify fellow members to pray for you and send money directly to you for your shareable bills. Your medical bills get paid, and you'll find comfort in prayers and encouragement from fellow members. And when another member has a need, you'll do the same for them. This isn't a faceless company. It's an opportunity for ministry. And look, what we love is that when a medical emergency comes up, you don't have to to give second thought to whether the hospital is in network. Samaritan Ministry has no network restrictions, so you have total freedom to choose whatever doctors, hospitals, and treatments are best for you and your family. Plus, members also get access to exclusive health resources to help keep medical costs low. Samaritan Ministry is a biblical solution to health care where we can bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And it's affordable because they're focused on ministry, not on profit. You can join 80,000 Christian households across the nation sharing $30 million dollars in medical needs every month. Become part of this community today at SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. That's SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. Join today. Today was the boys' first day at school. They went to school? Well, not school. Mother's Day out. I was about to say, man, your kids are smart. Yeah, well, they are. They're they're. They may be. No, oh, they're being what, kept. What grade by, is that? That's they're like, being kept. By they're eleven. Somebody? They're eleven months old. I mean, That's, I don't. How do you do a grade to that? I know a year old. There's yeah, like they're almost a year now. Yeah, they're extra, a extra pre K. Yeah, the pre 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 K. So you're uh, sending me a picture of them this morning because it makes me laugh. <laughs> on the way to school? Uh, yeah, and they're on the their way, boys. Of course, their mom. They're 11 months old. Their mom. Like, they gotta have a. They gotta have a first day picture. I'm like, oh, do what? Right. They're like. Look at them. Don't they look cute? There look at go. them. They ready for school. Right. They ready for school. They look, Waylon side eye and say it. I don't know about this. When did your children <laughs> become grown men? Well, what do you expect me and Brittany were going to have? <laughs> like, I mean. That's a couple of good looking boys you got I there, guarantee Mark. you, ain't they? I'm serious. <laughs> hey. I hate I hate every day Jackson looks at me and he has to see his future, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, enjoy it while you, it. enjoy it while you hey, keep. He'll so, learn to live with it. It only hey. goes downhill from here. That's so, it. Uh, you know, but no, and that that's a big step for mom to leave him with somebody she didn't know. Oh, and of course we dropped them off, and they just took off crawling towards the toys. They never even looked back. At <laughs> never them. checked up. She said, "Wait, bye." No, no, I ain't no like, bye. Yeah, bye. no, get out of here. No bye. Like, we got to go. So, we got so. things to do and people to see. <laughs> and then that was her on the phone during the break. Said it went as bad as it could have. No <laughs> nap, no food. I said, "What'd you expect? They ain't never been around nobody." For <laughs> there you go. They just got thrown in the room with seven kids uh, about their age, yeah. like to they wrestle. Just, yeah, they getting to know each other. I bet they won all the fights. No, there's one kid in there bigger than them. Oh, boy. I mean, he's a bruiser. <laughs> the, the lady said that when the parents dropped him off, they said the, the parents call him breadstick. <laughs> and I said, well, biscuit oh, biscuit would be more I appropriate. Say, breadstick <laughs> ain't no fit. Uh, breadstick, <laughs> big yeah, old yeah, boys. Yeah, uh, yeah breadstick mean, ain't no fit right. Oh, breadstick. I, I just like, hope breadstick sticks for the rest of his life. I mean, this this dude, a bull. <laughs> I'm talking about a bull, son. That's it like, funny. <laughs> but it made me realize, you know, we were talking the other day off air. 
man, we got a generation deal we got to fix with kids and stuff. And when I say that, I'm talking about employees of ours. Oh, boy, I didn't know where we yeah, were going. Yeah, no, we're going. We're I going thought you were going to tell road. a story of what, uh, trying to tell Ben's that a football can't hurt him, and I hit him with it. No. And then he started crying. And but I was that, like, hey, man, I threw ma- that too hard. That's making a tough boy. No, I was going to talk about um, a 15-year-old that we let go here. Uh-oh. And then he decides to post on social media that the people at Duck Commander are a bunch of dumb Oh, yeah. bleep. It was a couple words. Like that I wouldn't see it. <laughs> bleep. <laughs> so you know me. If I see something that I perceive is wrong, I will call you out on it. And then he'll tell right. it to, I don't know, how, how many people listen to this, Hunter? <laughs> that many people. Yeah. That probably won't be as many as Mr. Anthony's uh, episode, but I'm just saying, kid, you're 15 years old. We are in a very small town. You're going to need another job at some point. Odds yeah. are, whoever may want to hire you probably knows me. What kind of recommendation do you think I may get when you put on your resume your past employment? I'll save this picture and use it at everybody that ever calls me about you. Hey. um, Just uh, to prove a point. Why, whenever he fills that out, previous employment, reason for departure, what would he put there? Terminated. Why? Terminated via text message. <laughs> Which is not something I believe in, but when I don't work on Saturdays and you do, and even on that day you still don't show up for your job, I'm not giving you the respect to do it in person. I'm going to do it via text message. I've had to fire somebody via text message before because if you can't show up, how else yeah. are we supposed yeah. to? Yeah. What, am I spo- yeah, what am I supposed to do? Call you up here on your, on your five days off because you work one day a week <laughs> and have you meet with me so I can terminate you? No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. It ain't worth oh, effort. That's, it's not yeah. worth oh, effort. But it that's, ain't worth the effort. But John David can tell you, like, when we're trying to staff our retail store here. Oh, goodness. It's tough to find kids that will work. Thank I, goodness the Stone kids need money during the summertime. I've changed, they're MVPs. Of course, they're raised my, a little different. I've changed my outlook. <laughs> you either have to be over 50 and retired to be part-time and work for me or your last name has to be owen and that's it because that's, that's only... about all that i feel like fooling with i because I... I had this dream of like young kids that liked fishing working and, and it was a dream it was a dream <laughs> because some of them like fishing and i i got one that i like uh yeah. he stuck with me for a while but I, I i was on this podcast one day and i looked down at my phone and it was 2 30 in the afternoon and the guy, all, all you working two to six. I like guess it. You're just helping me close. Yeah. And I got a text message that says, "Hey, sorry, I just slept in." Two to six. Two, two, two p.m. to six. I slept in. He overslept for a two p.m. Do time. I, and then he said, "Do I still need to come into work today?" And I was like, "I ain't asking you to work because I don't." Hey. Uh, for the goodness of yourself, like I, yeah, you need to be I there. I need help. Also. I think I'd have made up something else. Yeah, like. <laughs> What happened to clever line? Yeah, like yeah. I'm against line, but now they're too dumb that they they're just like, hey man, yeah, I was asleep. Which bro. is what my boy said on Saturday. It Saturday, folks, if you didn't know, in Louisiana was opening day of dove season. That's a big day if you're young and you like to hunt. That's like kickoff. Well, the boy says I got a birthday party to go to on opening day of dove season. I know he likes to hunt. I know he likes to fish. Zoom call into that. Bro. And on opening day of dove season, he's got a birthday party that won't allow him to be at work for eight hours when was the last time a birthday party lasted eight hours for anything much less once you get to the 15 16 year old range I don't, mm. <laughs> hey i just like don't you, lie to me tell I me you're going told, dove hunting i'll tell you the truth boss hey i'd like to miss Saturday to go dove hunt to go dove hunt and you know what i'd have said tough I'll break be- you're 15 get over it <laughs> This is what you yeah. do. This yeah. is when hey, you. This you, is this, when you work. Yeah. And this is. Hey, here's a, your work schedule. Yeah. Okay. Your schedule to work today. You should have known this. Tomorrow. A, you should have known this a month ago. Yeah. Go tomorrow. You could have requested it all. But no, you just. Yeah. No, nah, I'm good. Check it, out. Yeah. All right. What's wrong with hey? Hey, if anything, like you said, JD hit it on. Hey, ain't too bright. No, they're not. And they don't hey. care enough. That's the biggest issue. Yeah. Is they don't care enough to lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even they don't even care it, the way don't got it enough matter. to lie about yeah it. the last right. one i i've i've fired two people for just not being capable of showing up at the time that they said they would show up at yeah and it's like i've even tried like to work with them like okay like let's talk about 
growing up and responsibility and and then he goes and then on. they just they can't and then the last dude he like he would make up all these stories but it would be an hour after he was supposed to be there and i was like you if this was two hours ago i might believe any of this but you're already late now bro yeah. and like i and it's to the point where like i kind of hope you don't show up because i don't have to ha i can i'd rather do it myself yeah i'd rather just have to work and do two people's job than deal with incompetence that may or may not show up. find you a retired veteran we got a retired police officer he's pretty good. close enough yep. yeah and that's no i'm i'm all in on retired people because the they come on. in and they start talking like sal like these kids are morons i'm like hey man no bro. no yeah preach hey. it and a dove hunting in lubbock yeah okay i think he was 14 maybe 16 yeah and the guy that was paying him to work for him he said he he beats all my my uh older you know employees yeah well that's he, what he's always before he's there, before work starts. Oh, it still exists. There's it is feed. just and they'll be rich. incredibly hard That's to right. find. Well, they will. They will be like, rich beyond their wildest imagination because whenever somebody does find you, they're going to be like, "Holy crap! This kid knows how to work." Well, and then and he shows up oh, and he's no. dependable, and you don't have to beg him to do stuff, and he stays off his dead gum cell phone. No, no, the guy that retail. hired this Woo! kid. He said he he actually makes me work harder. That's good. He said because, you know. Well, after I called. He's always doing things, and if he ain't got nothing to do, he calls and he said, hey, what else you got you need done today that I can help you with? Well, and after I called old boy out, <laughs> he called here's, here's, where, here's where it got good. Because I took a picture of it, and I said, what's this about? And he said, well, that wasn't directed at you, if that's what you mean. <laughs> I said, I don't care who it was directed at. It was directed at the company. That was unprofessional. Yeah, and it was and, directed at the company. And if you got something you need to say, say it. Yeah, be man enough to say it to my face. And so then he said, well, I was going to put in my two weeks anyway. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was going to put in my two weeks anyway. I'm it. And I'm not... Uh, I'm not mad I got fired. I'm just mad I got fired over text message. Well, which show is why, up. Which is why I said, well, if you'd show up to your job, I could have done it in person. Right. Fired you I've to your face. Yeah. I said, We're so, going down a road I don't need to well, go. Well, no, I told him. I said, so grow up and take some accountability for your own actions. I think what makes him the maddest is he was, in fact, a twin, which is one of the reasons I said let's hire him because I wanted to do a little case study on twins. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm, yeah. I'm keeping his twin sister on staff here because she is a uh, well, great employee. Yeah. Yeah. That's she funny. she does very good. And I I'm, I really wanted to tell him, too, that at Duck Commander, do you realize how hard you have to work to get fired? Pretty hard. Like, <laughs> in my 14 years here, we're still in the single digits of people I've seen actually terminated from the company. You've really got to try. And he did. He did it. He did. He he was very he good. He it off. Yeah, kids he these made days. it. Did you, did you ever think we'd get to the point where we'd be saying stuff like kids these days? Well, I never dreamed that I would be at the point at this place where kids. part of my job is staffing the place, and I can't find somebody to come in and work part-time. Kids that is, these days. Like, when I was working part-time at his age, I was pulling weeds. Please give me a job. Kids. In the air conditioning. No, 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 no. I was in, in the freezer. I was making less than yeah. him pulling weeds out yeah. of flower beds. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Uh, inside job? You mean, wait, where there's air conditioning? Yeah. Hey, I'll say this, though. I, mean, I, was in, I was in the back refrigerator of Super One stacking apples when I was his age, and that was too cold. Yeah. Now, that'd probably be a little chilly. <laughs> but it's better than on your hands and knees uh, in a flower But I tell bed. you what, that, those two, three times I was late and Rick Cody called me at 630 in the morning, your boy'd show up with one shoe on just trying to get out the door, scared to death I was about to get fired, not, hey, I slept in. Not my bad. You still need me there? No, yeah. I was hustling. And yeah. it was 6 a.m., not 2 in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't open till 9. And so. you grew up sleeping in a queen-size bed. Yeah. Thank you. With access to a Rolex. Kids yeah. these days, man. Oh, man. All right, Kids let's take another days. break. The rant's over. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Martin. Hey. Huh? You went to the post office? You know why I went today? Why? To get you some duck stamps. Oh. That's why I went today. Oh, I didn't go to ship any packages just because we use stamps.com. Yeah. Stamps.com. Okay. 
Because it's the best, and it's aptly named. It is aptly yeah. named. And look, the it, holiday yeah. season is Dance. right around the corner. What's the website? Stamps.com. There you go. But the holiday season is right around the corner. People are going to be ordering stuff from us. And when you do, we thank you for your business. And you're going to receive it via Stamps.com. Because yeah. that's the easiest way for us to do it. It's Jay's wife way. is going to click on there, put your stuff in, click best rate. And there's going to print out a label. She's going to schedule a pickup, and all the stuff goes out to you. You'll get it on time. You, and, look, if you're a small business, the cool thing is you're going to save a ton of money doing it. Because with Stamps.com, all you need is a computer and a printer. They even send you a free scale, so you'll have everything you need to get started. Taking care of orders on the go is even easier with the Stamps.com mobile app. So if you need to travel for a little bit in the holiday, you can still get your stuff done. It's that simple. If you need to package pickup, Schedule it through the Stamps.com dashboard. And if you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. And if you're running low, order shipping and mailing supplies, labels, and even printers from the supply store. You can get huge carrier discounts of up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates to help your bottom line. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. For 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need right now from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting, no going to the post office. Do it all from home. Save a lot of time. And during the holidays, you're saving a ton of money. Get your business ready for the holiday rush. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code Duck. I'm going to hey, end up with a headset that like Si. I, that's oh. actually been talked about. Oh, they're a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to really end are. up. Yeah. And we're back. I've broken 14 microphones when I get excited. I apologize. If you heard a buzz in the last segment, <laughs> that's my fault. They're turning me into Si. They're talking about No, nah, that was just because you had two cases of mouth. You got to think about this. I started to work when I was 12. Yeah. When you were 12. I was asleep, okay? Knock on the door. Yeah, early in the morning. It's like 7. Knock on the door. Mama answers. It's Jim, it's Jim, the guy that hauls hay, a farmer. He was looking for Tommy and Phil. Yeah. Okay, which they're like, Phil's two years older than me. Tommy's two years older than Phil. Okay, they're in there, what, 16, 14. Okay. Well, they're working for Daddy in the oil field, big money. You know, and he's yeah, Miss you know, Miss Robinson, I, I need somebody to work, you know. And she he she said, Jim, all I got is you know, Sai. He's in there asleep right now. <laughs> all I got, the boy. Yeah, the boy don't weigh what sixty pounds, maybe. So you know, wet. You know, and hey, he convinced her I'll take care. Of him. <laughs> so hey, she's coming in one moment. She said, "You want to go to work, make some money?" I said, "Yeah." We get dressed. Got dressed, and hey, me and him, he had an old international. He'd put it in first gear, and it's just. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he'd throw the bales of hay up on the trailer. We'd get the trailer full, stop the truck, turn it off. He'd help get me up there, and we'd, we'd, we'd stack them. Here we go again. That's what we'd do all day. At 12 years old. At 12 years old. Mm -hmm. My favorite part is at 12 years Yo, and old. I'm, I'm skinnier I'm skinnier then than I am now. At 12 years old, so I was 60 pounds. At 12 years old, no. I'd have to get weighed in that special section down there at the football deal so I could qualify. <laughs> <laughs> and then Martin, that, it, it had a 130-pound weight no, limit on it. No, no. <laughs> Martin hit that hot tub no, no, for the first day of football. I was getting weighed in the, in the, in the uh, building down there without any lights on. Yeah, 129. All right. Perfect. And a half. Yeah. So when I wasn't working for Jim, okay, I actually, you know, Dad had brought an old raggedy lawnmower. Mm hmm. You know, well, I was mowing grass, okay, and hey, I look at people today when they said, uh, you know, hey, what did you charge me to mow my yard? You know, oh, that's 150. Yeah. I said, 150. I used to mow five acres with a push mower for $5. Yeah. Dollar or acre. Dollar an acre. My first uh -huh. job was bush hogging. Yeah, no, I I it's, mowed. Well, you was big time in it, JD. You well, had a tractor. You had a tractor. Well, yeah, I mean, you had a tractor. My just dad, I had had four tires on it, but I had to be the prior. So it's all like behind Stone's <laughs> house and where Willie's all Willie's property used to be my uncle's property, and 
my dad, the dude was bush hogging and charged my uncle way too much. My dad was like, I got an idea. And my <laughs> uncle paid me, and I got paid pretty good, but then I had to pay my dad a third for renting his tractor. That's it. I say that's a good that's All a summer good, long. Hey, teach you new business. That's a good business lesson. Hey, mm-hmm. That's a good business lesson because, hey, my first paycheck for the hayfield just sent me skyward like a rocket. Where'd you go? Because my mama said, hey, give me your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, I guess what this is going to buy. And I said, what? She said, your school clothes. You're a working man now, so hey, working you've got man. to learn. Mm-hmm. You go across the street over here, you see bullfrogs sitting in that back room. Oh, yeah. Putting duck calls in packages. Yep. Because I told her, if you want to drive, you got to make some money to pay for that insurance. And I said, I'll let you, I'll loan this car to you. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna earn? But you gonna earn the you know, privilege? Insurance. I walked, in that, there, hey. I walked in there the other day. She just, yeah. She never said a word. She's just putting them duck calls in them packages. She's so quiet. I, she's been working for us for a couple of weeks now. I forgot she's even there. I walked in there the other day. I said, "Well, for all, what are you doing here?" She's like, "Oh, well, I'm I'm coming to work." I was like, "I'm employed. Oh yeah, you're doing all you're doing yeah. online school. I forgot. So you're gonna well, work here." You know, her here. mama um, been working for duck matter since she's about. Twelve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she's a lifer. And I and I and one of our best employees. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, she is the best. I will yeah. tell you, hey, she's one of the best. That's exactly right. Absolutely. She no, is. but it yeah. we hey, have so in the summer. Man, it ain't no BS with Nan. No. Hey, you get your one oh, away. You, you get you your one away. Go to I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why you think he's wearing overalls? Yeah. <laughs> I get it. No, there ain't no. Look, I. I oh. We've been married almost 20 years, and I can count on one hand the times that she's laughed out loud. <laughs> she ain't, she ain't about same. no bull crap. No, no, hey, she got the same thing. Daddy did not do it. Yep. Tommy Robertson did not do it. Nope. Phil, 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 he don't. You have to he, really say something that's funny for him to. Uh, uh, he don't. He ain't no ha ha. Yeah, he, no, you he goes. <laughs> yeah, yo, hey, yeah, but hey, you really got to do something yeah. to get that. I've seen Phil do that <laughs> one time. <laughs> or he'll just when he cuts them eyes. You know, he he thought it was clever. He'll just cut them eyes at you with a little smirk. Uh, yeah. That's all you get out of him. I, I don't know what I don't know what that well, was about. Yeah, she got that genetic whatever yeah, it is. That, Daddy didn't do it. Tommy didn't do it. Okay. I, hey, I like to have fun and bust out laughing. I like to have a good time. Oh, yeah. 20 years. No out. No laughing out loud. She's never said the words, I was wrong. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> no, she just makes another hey, dozen. Well, people. hey, when you're right all the time, it's just hard yeah. to say, yeah, I've, well, you know I, who, I may have made a mistake. Well, J- Jay's has that one, too. <laughs> and then the uh, words, I'm sorry, have never <laughs> come out of her mouth oh boy so, never there you go that is it is genetic it's isn't that weird how that that, that learn behavior nature over nurture hey, nurture that, over nurture her dad's whatever. not like that no where did she learn it from no it's just in there and then you decide to let it thrive or not i guess so and so it robertson's seems, are it seems in the robertson's it like plays hopscotch like that <laughs> yeah uh, yeah uh, I think so. y'all should be studied for sure. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> they should, they've been under the public microscope now for 12 well, hey, years. I don't think so. Hey, they studied. See, they've been studied. And we're going to find out a little bit more about it come September the 29th. Eight. 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 Huh? Eight. No, 28th. 28. 28. I get confused. Yeah, All them days run together. One I got day, twins. One Calm day down. Wasn't bad. Calm down, Hunter. You'll get there one day when you have children. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. But. Not if he keeps turning down all those dates. That's a good point. It's a very good point. But. I We're think gonna I let scared him do one it. of them away, actually. You scared who away? Uh-oh. He scared her away. So you responded, and it scared I did, her. I responded to one, but I think I scared her away. Uh-oh. How'd you scare Uh-oh. her away? What you, she what? Uh, she was talking about her dogs. I got excited to talk about dogs. I started talking about red pandas, and then she never responded back. Red pandas. What's that have to do with a dog? Uh, we're just talking about animals. You were going to yeah. get a pet? A red no. panda. That's or, like a a Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I don't think we got enough time before we got to no, take let, another break. We're gonna yeah, to... break and then back to Hunter. And you got to thank the man that come up with it. Come, come up, up with, with what? what? Really? Was it a 2.0? 2.0 what? Okay, hey, that 2.0 pillow, son. Your pillow? Yeah, my pillow. Not there you. we Not go. Martin. We finally Not got there. Hey, <laughs> right, yeah, boy. 
Uh, All right. My pillow 2.0. Mike Lindell? Uh, that's the man. It don't get no better than that's solid. Right. Right. It's soft. He's thought about it just a lot. He's put a lot of time and effort in all that. Okay. Well, yeah, he's put in 20 years worth. 20 yeah. year anniversary, yeah. Martin. Oh, so yeah. for everybody that thinks this is some new thing, Mike been Mike been making your pillows slash my pillows for 20 years. That's incredible. And for a company staying in business 20 years these days, that really is incredible. And now, yeah. because of 20 years, yeah. they're giving a discount. Oh, we are too. It's yeah. a ridiculous discount. It really is. So Mike Lindell and his My Pillow employees want to thank each and everybody. So they are going to give the lowest price ever on the My Pillows. Queen size My Pillows are regularly priced at 69.98, but right now, they're only 19.98. And for 40 just bucks. And for just $10 more, you can get a king size. Yeah. That's unbelievable. But anyway, all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio podcast square to get Mike's amazing offer on the queen size MyPillow for only $19.98. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK. With MyPillow's patented feel, it adjusts to your exact individual needs to help you get the best sleep ever. And in addition to the special anniversary offer on my pillows, you will receive deep discounts on all my pillow products, such as the bed sheets, pet beds, my slippers, and so much more. Take advantage of the biggest sale in my pillows history. Look, Christmas is coming, folks. If you want to go ahead and knock some people off your list, get those slippers, get them some sheets, get them towels. some towels. That's it. He loves them towels. He loves them towels. And, and rightfully so. I do too. Right. I wipe my face on one every morning. Because it's hanging right there by my toothbrush. Thank and you. So, I mean, you ain't going to be mad about it. You can go ahead and knock some of the Christmas lift off. Plus, they don't know that you're getting such a good deal on it. They're like, man, you paid that much for me a pillow? No, I actually got it for $19.98. What else? <laughs> what, you're saving money, you're saving value, and you're getting something people will love. I, I highly recommend it. And if you want to do it, all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK to take advantage of Mike's special offer on his MyPillow. That's MyPillow.com, promo code DUCK, or call 800-969-3137. Do it today and you won't regret it. All right, so you responded to this this girl. Yeah. And she ghosted you when you started uh, a conversation with her. Yeah, we talked for all of, I think, two days. <laughs> two days. Yeah. Uh, and what what was the final straw? Well, she uh she, she was talking about her pets and uh I, st- I was talking about my pets and uh what how much got? I love dog. I have a or I mean we have a family lab. She's okay. 15 years old. As uh, old dog. Yeah, she's very old. She's at the old vet dog. today. Actually. And she's a red panda? No. <laughs> well, where did the red panda come in this time? <laughs> she mentioned cats and I oh. mentioned red pandas being permanent cats cuz oh. red pandas are weird and they're kind of like cats. And then she never responded back. The only red thing I know of is a orangutan. Red panda. I have weird conversations, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm still single. <laughs> well, I, I got some advice. Yeah, I got some advice. Uh, I'm going to make red, you an offer. That's what we're talking about? There's a yeah. red panda. Can people uh, obtain those, Joe Exotic? I don't think so, but when they get scared, they just put their arms in the air. Why is he called a red panda? He ain't nothing more than an orange raccoon. That's right. But time out. You own one of those? No, I don't even, own one of those. Why would you bring that up? I'm weird. I don't know. <laughs> Hunter, I've that's, got why, a, that's why you got you got got put, dropped. I'm I'm I've got weird. a biology degree, and I don't even know that that thing exists. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> See, Hunter, like the there's black less camp. than ten thousand of them. Look, yeah. here's I'm gonna uh, do you a solid. Me and Johnny D. Next time, I'm Johnny D. I'm volunteering you for something here, man. Before, and I would volunteer Cy too because nope, then it'll he get weird. Well, he doesn't have a. Uh, he doesn't have a cell phone. That's so. right. It's gonna hey, be tough. Cell when you go to have these conversations, before you hit send, send it <laughs> yeah. to us. Yeah, let us, say, let us uh, bet What it. do y'all think? No, yeah, let's I bet disagree. It. <laughs> if you're into red pandas for some reason, then you got to say that and see if she is too. I guess. Hey, she was. I'm right. confused on what this animal is. No, no, hey, hey she has awesome. her pets. He's got his pets. All I'm right. confused on how we bridge the conversation to red pandas from dogs to cats. Yeah. To, yeah. Hey, have you ever seen this thing? Yeah. How did they get there? I'm trying to be engaging, not be boring. You know, that is, it's Uh-oh. not boring. So, thank like, you. No, but it seems like you're trying to hijack the conversation and not get to know her. I, I, still, I, oh. I, so I did listen, try and do that. So thank listen. You. So listen to her story about her cats. It's a, well, you I can hijack one. it later. To be yeah, fair, I got she's one. a cat lady. Yeah, start throwing out weird stuff and get out of there, man. Well, size a cat lady. Hey. 
No, I'm a I good man. Him. Oh, I know. <laughs> but look what it's oh, done yeah, for. Hey, him. speaking of that, he he got locked in the in the. Uh, and according to Hunter, size si got a bunch of black pandas on his carport that eat his cat food. So they're also known as a raccoon. Yeah, Raccoons, and hey, but <laughs> I'm talking about raccoon on steroids. Someone will call those <laughs> trash hey, pandas. These suckers weighed eighty pounds, maybe a hundred. Because Christine <laughs> and, uh, was feeding them a fifty-pound bag of uh, cat food a week. Do you think you guys can find me a day a for the weekend, though? This weekend, day yeah. for the weekend. Yeah. Hunter, you have the you have the email login. It's that is full true. of. People. Hey, I got a concert hey, on Saturday, on Facebook, and I don't want to go by myself. What kind of concert? It's, uh, uh, why'd you ask me that? Hey, heavy yeah. metal. Is because it, that's going to determine out of our inbox heavy who metal. I may suggest for you. Heavy metal. Yeah. So who is it? Is it heavy metal? Yeah, it's a band called Dance Gavin Dance. Hey. It's not metal, but it's a little bit more like... It's, Man, yeah. I'm really no, don't, try- be, don't be crawfish. Oh. It's heavy I'm, metal. I'm really, try- I'm really trying to be open-minded here. <laughs> hey. I really am. <laughs> Hunter, you're a you, there's a lot of layers in that onion, buddy. Hey. Dude, I'm so weird. <laughs> hey, he's a, there's a lot of layers. Hey, in this he's onion. a booming onion, is what he is. <laughs> he's a booming onion, y'all. I watch too many movies. I talk about red pandas, and I go to. Uh-oh. I'm trying to go to weird concerts. Your t-shirt collection is very eclectic. Man, yeah. there's a lot of layers. Your Man. t-shirt collection is eclectic. Dude, it's. I got he's wearing, a producer, people. Uh, I'm wearing uh, a shirt with the uh, superheroes uh, on the uh, Johnny's logo. I know. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, again, uh, uh, there it goes. Johnny's hey. Pizza? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got it out of hey, Comic Con. I know you got a Facebook, so hey, put it on the Facebook. Hey, it. need a date for Saturday night. So many layers to this onion, man. There's just. Man, he's a blooming. Yeah, because most of our fans onion. want to go hear Luke Combs uh, rip Ooh, off Tracy hey, Chapman. That's and a make good, a billion good dollars concert doing. there. And I'm in on that. Hey, I, mean, I guess. That's a good one. Yeah, I thought it was good. I'm more of a Hootie and the Blowfish kind of fella. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Wow. Unbelievable. Mm. What a life. What a time to be alive, Hunter. <laughs> I mean, so is your thing with red pandas, just because I can't really leave there yet, is it like size thing with Black Panthers? Like no, those just, exist. Yeah, except you red pandas exist. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, These are a real thing. Well, speaking of that, about Vance. Oh, look up a video of when they get scared and, and tell me you're, you wouldn't be entertained by this. Hey, speaking of bands, hey, what is Oliver up to nowadays? All of the variety. Is, yeah. I guess he's still churning out new music. Well, hey. Somebody uh, wanted us to rank Little Debbie Snacks because of his song. but Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's doing all right, though. Well, number one is a Christmas tree cake. Hey, that's right. <laughs> number one's Christmas tree cake. Then it gets controversial after that. That's right. Then, yeah, it then it's just a bunch of 2A, 2B, 2C. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a little gap that skip all the way down to like 10 for some of those obscure ones. But, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We we invited uh, Oliver Anthony on the show. Have we heard show. back from Oliver? Uh, a lot of people yeah. tagged him and stuff, and uh, he, he went and went on Joe Rogan instead. I I mean, I don't know why you'd go to the number one podcast in the world when you could yeah. go to the number two that's, leisure uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah that's kind of offensive. You had to drive right by us to get there. Because <laughs> obviously airplanes and buses aren't your thing. <laughs> so Hey, that's like poker. Like, what? What? Bluff? Oh, they play poker. Hey, they come in. What are we? On planes, and then they go back on buses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look like everybody uh, else in Vegas. Because huh? they always drawing for straight and flushes. Oh, so I got a little rhyme. I had a little portrait to it, that boy. I, I like it. I don't even know. That's I don't, good. There it is. I was trying to find my podcast. Now, which oh. Joe Rogan's not on that anymore. He's exclusive somewhere, huh? Spotify, I think. Yeah. Isn't he? Hunter? Yeah. yeah, Spotify. Yeah, what is. is what has been on on the news? Anything newsworthy? No. For this, for NFL this football United States back. of America. NFL football starts back tonight. Football. Uh, college football well, is running. Playing? College football is running wild and free. Oh I, yeah, I'm going. Where are you going? I'm going to the top charts of podcasts. This oh. is a podcast. Oh, we're not. Don't. Yes, we are. No, no, we're not. We are the number one episode under Leisure right now. Okay. Uh, the episode with. But Miss Becky, really, and we're still the number three leisure podcast, right behind something called House Rules. I don't know what that means, and one of Hunter's favorite podcasts about Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons yeah, we're never going to compete that against called? them. No. Critical Role. Yeah, do you know what that is? I know of it, but I don't. I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Y'all had anymore. Y'all had Becky on the podcast <laughs> anymore. Yeah, oh, had Becky. Oh, it was. Did you read did the comments on the Becky podcast? Did y'all talk about 
when she ran through the wall. Well, of course we did. We of showed course. the video and everything. Yeah. Of course. Oh, you it's got the, the video th- footage. It's yeah. the thumbnail oh, yeah. of the episode, yeah. too. Yeah, what was that loud crack? Oh, it, it was, was loud. Becky oh, I was in the right back door. And she talked about you. She said, you know, Jay is not really um, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, compassionate. Yeah. She said, so he walked up to me and went, it's going to be okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought a bomb went off. <laughs> Have but, you never seen the video? And then she video? came running by just squalling, and I'm like, what in the world? Yeah. <laughs> what happened here? Yeah. And then we put in a drive through window. Yeah. Right. Right. drive through window, boy. Well, uh, I, I think Becky you made it, made it hit, the, hit the gas instead of the brake, you know. Yeah, I've just never done it right in front of Zone a building. Out. Praise well, the I was Lord. going down the road one day and threw Uh-oh. it in here, here it's it's back. back. Oh, here it comes. It's here back. Come. It is live action one more You've time. You've never seen here it, Pull up to the curb come. and then gas it. Whoop up. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> come on in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, Becky. Oh, boy. Oh, the fans loved her, too. I I told her all the good comments that they said about her because we had some people calling her a smoke show. A lot of people <laughs> said she looked like the uh, fountain of youth. There's no way she could have been married for 40 years already. Yeah. There you go. So, go and then I, so then I took the comments and tried to take to Harry, showing him how kind our fans are and that why he needed to come on here. You ain't getting married, bro. <laughs> he said he would consider it once he's retired. Oh, 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 Harry about to tell some secrets, y'all. So I don't really Harry know. Harry knows too much. He does. Well, Harry does know too much, but he's a delight. And now that he's he's so snarky and lippy because he is about to retire, he's just, <laughs> he's even better than he's ever been. I mean, he is just funny. I'd do it to you. I'd do it to you. Right to oh, you. Yeah. yeah. We'll get out of here. Well, let's take one more break and we'll get in that inbox. There, I think there's some stuff in there we need to talk about. So. I got some decent ones. Yeah, he's got some good ones. Oh, here's yeah. reviews for our podcast. bunch of people went and very recent oh because we kept telling people to yeah like and subscribe and leave us a nice comment leave us a bad one <laughs> all the things <laughs> right. run, like, run your mouth well i just went and i'm we looking at about that hey nick r nick r says love listening work in the city these days and your conversations take me back home Thank you for putting this content out. Simple, fun conversations. Give me a laugh. Keep it up, boys. Uh, he gave go. us four. There you, there you go, boys. Hey, look. What we got to do to get five, man? Hey. Be better. Hey, four, got hey, four got, is good. Hey, four we got, is good because we got room for We're mainly room. fives. Yeah. Although, Although, my dad always says there's always room for improvement. Yeah. You want to hear? There's always room for improvement. Do is. we have like a one? Here's a two. Yeah, what does that one say? <laughs> I love these. <laughs> this isn't nice. Well, I don't care. <laughs> um... Moose Street, <laughs> Moose Street, Moose Street uh, left us one. The title is "Replace Martin." Two stars. That's fun. This podcast truly has no substance. It's just the same fictitious side stories repeated over and over. Cold Spring cue ball is spot on about Martin. He's hard to listen to and a phony. Who's Cold Spring cue ball? Man, <laughs> that's nice. I'm trying to figure out what positive I'm... feedback from Kush Chemo. Phony. Choose a topic. You're rambling. We have admitted that since episode one. Yeah, we're not your guys. We're not your guys. We're not. We're not, we're not for Two you. Two commercials, not mini series. We have the best commercials in all of podcast them, sir. <laughs> and I don't care to hear about a 15 minute write in for you guys to offer advice. Really. Well, here's some advice, Kush Chemo. <laughs> Go get some friends and go outside and stop listening to people you don't even like. You're wasting your own time, dummy. Right. We told you we ramble. Here's your life <laughs> advice, man. Don't do something that you know you're not going to like. I'll go for 15 minutes on hey, you. Hey, you're going to ramble, won't you? I'm just kidding. There you go. Hey. Hey, they may leave me alone this one. Oh, oh I don't. Boy, I don't either. That's funny. It really is. We there is hardly any bad reviews. Just those two. And I don't know who Cold Cue Ball is, but Cold Q-ball. My favorite ones are the comments. Oh, I found Cold Spring Cue Ball. Oh, this is terrible, Martin. My favorite ones are the ones that say, I wish they'd stop talking so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's his podcast. Hey. Oh. What do you yeah. What do you what yeah, do you, what do, you to, do? You want us to sit here and be quiet? Yeah. That's a great podcast. Hold on. Let's just pause for five seconds. Mm, uh, well, that's this, what we all came for. This is their problem with you, Martin. <laughs> you act like you're the smartest guy in the room is what Cold Spring Cue Ball said. Uh, friend, Martin is the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. But. We all know that. 
I'm not. Maybe in certain categories. We're all very intelligent in our own categories. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I'm very Here's rarely a category. the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> I just like the people that choose, don't like that. Choose your category. In fact, I'll say this, Cold Spring. I choose to surround myself with people that I know are smarter than me. That actually is true. I don't hang around people, try not to, that would bring me down. I like to elevate myself. How do- Ad- life advice right there, buddy, that you hate that we get people ask for. <laughs> Life. But apparently you make it to the last segment of the show, so you're listening to a lot of it. <laughs> this was not even planned. All these others are just telling us how great we are. I like the mean. What was one. that? What was that episode of The Office? Boom roasted. Boom roasted. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, let's get in the inbox. I okay, I was trying to enough, find one bashing me. No. Well, is there any good ones you want to read? We are open. To awesome construction. show and people silliness with good heart. That's all we are. We like to laugh and have a good time. That's all we Can't are. Can't get enough of Sai. Who can? Light and fun. Great podcasts. See. Faith building Christian values. Black Panther love. Greatest podcast ever. Best part of their week. Perfect. We're right. going to take down those Dungeons yeah. and Dragons let's see what nerds. The fans want. <laughs> yeah. Let's, what do they want to know? All right. What here's they what they want, want us to do. Who mm. sent this in, first off? That's this right. is the most let's incredible who, thing who sent it I've in. seen today, and I lost it. Uh oh. I'm going to figure out who sent it in. But a dude jumped on a giraffe at the zoo. And hey, this what? Hey. He that's climbed That's my fault. Fence. That's my fault that he done that. Yeah. It is your fault. It is my fault. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Here you All go. Right. Watch this. Watch this. Wait, oh, okay. There right. you go. Hey, that dude went bodacious on that one. Oh, that was from Joel, by the way. Thank you, Joel. Joel sent that in. Yeehaw. He, he, Yeehaw, boy. Joel said, I was on that weird side of YouTube and I stumbled upon this little gym. Been there, Joel. <laughs> know all about it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Is there a weird side of YouTube? Hey. Well, you hey. get in like this weird deal where those are the kind of videos that, because then you watch one. Then the next one that suggests you're like, I kind of want to see that. All right, this one's a big one. It's a big one, boys. Are we ready? If you send in an email with a subject line like this, you got a good chance what of is read on the line. <laughs> this Steven is from Ukiapa, California. Yucupa? Yucupa. Yucupa, California. Why not? Qu- subject line, question about sleeping in bed with my wife. Dun, dun. It's not that kind of podcast, but we're going to answer it anyway. He's been married to his wonderful wife, Allison, for about two months. And it's amazing. They both love the Lord. They're trying to be the best version of themselves for each other. The question's about sharing the bed. Basically, 5'9", 220. Tosses and turns a lot, moves a lot. Sometimes gets bad gas. Who, you talking about him? Or him, him, oh, him, okay. him. We're on him right now. We're right. still on him. And my wife does not like it. I try to be quiet and gentle, but we have a queen-size bed, so it's hard not to move around when it feels like I have about just another this much space to sleep. She gets mad because I sound like a bear rustling in the woods at night, and I should be more gentle. What's your best advice, guys? I know Martin's a bigger dude, so maybe he could give me some pointers. You're only 5'9", 220. I got you by a lot. Yeah. 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 First first deal. King size bed. King size bed. It's that, a, that's that's, 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 that's a one. ultimate. Yeah. Okay. It must do. Throw the queen size out. Okay. Buy a king size. Fix two. Get you a sound machine. Uh, hey. And like, look. For real. We know of a great one. Yeah, get you a hatch. Get it's you something. Box to, fan. Box fan. Get you some kind of white noise-esque going on in there. That way your wife can sleep through all your rambling. Mm-hmm. And about the bad gas, man, that's just, those are just hey, party favors. I don't know hey. what to tell you about that. That, that, that Dutch Hello. oven is one, one of the <laughs> funniest things bad in Bad gas, the world. he yeah. needs to change his diet. Change his diet. Oh, yeah. Oh, crud. Hey, hey just live look, with it, man. Oh, no, hey, I guarantee if I wish I had one of them nutritious, is that the name of it? Yeah, sure. People that hey, nutritionist, uh, nutritionist. I like calling them nutritionists. They would that was the first thing they'd tell you. Mm-hmm. You got bad gas, and everybody in the family hates it. Hold hey, on, does change he, your diet. How does bad is the gas, though? I mean, there's, there's. I mean, I, I know, I know a guy, right? It's not like you're gag worthy. Like, don't even yeah. come around me. But like, all gas stinks. Even my wife's. Yeah, she's gonna be mad at me. Good thing she don't listen. So, but like, if it's just normal, you ain't gotta change your diet. Like, it's just gonna hey. happen. Yeah, mm. maybe face it outside if, the hey, seat. If you want to, hey, you want happiness in your in your household. Hey, change your diet. It's an easy. Thing. But a lot of this can. I'm be with a, Stone and Godwin. Yeah, yeah, rip one, pull the covers over. Oh yeah, <laughs> hold them. There's nothing better me, than having me, having one of those. That's right. Silent, we need, silent, we need one of the under, uh, undercover meetings here. 
Yeah. You, you have that that one that burns. You know, it's real. It don't make no noise. And then all, Silent, all of a sudden, boys, all of a sudden, there's a yeah, woof. yeah, <laughs> SPD. Yeah. And then, and then the next noise you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of sick people in this world. Oh, yeah. You're looking at two of them over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ain't no doubt. But there's no rule. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. But they okay. fight back. Oh, Don't let yeah. them women fool oh, you. They oh, fight back. Oh, they oh, yeah. do. Yeah. They fight fire with fire. Don't I wouldn't want to get in a fight with Brittany or Anna. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm out. I'm just saying, like, they, they, they get to snickering when they do it to you, too. So <laughs> they'd, like, win. they'd win that. Oh, I've laughed well, so hard. Hey, tears oh, coming out of my you would yeah. think, Hey, you would think something that's, that's beautiful could not let off gas. They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think and hey, you're... look, they get a kick out of just as much as we do. Oh, okay, yeah. cause oh, hey, yeah. don't let them, let them fool you. Okay, payback is a rough boy. Hey, I'm now <laughs> since Brittany got pregnant and had kids, <laughs> and we got them. I'm probably fourth or fifth on the depth chart of amount of gas in our house <laughs> fourth or fifth <laughs> because them boys are one and depth two the dog got you no, beat. oh buddy hey. you, oh no as she's, hey. as she's approaching 10 years in age oh yeah that them guts i guess don't work like they used to <laughs> in a dog and, dublin got kind of rankety there towards the end jews done got so bad she'll do it and get up and walk off and you know if she's just been laying somewhere and it wakes her up and she gets up and walks off you're like oh no yeah she's busted it she you know what she just that's right she's just busted like, and she's Lord leaving and, boys. oh it, oh, that that old blue heater we got it'll burn your nose hairs. Yeah, so, but I think his biggest fix is a yeah. bigger bed. I well, think it would solve a lot of his problems. And they've only been married yeah. for two months, so they might be under the impression like Ooh. you got to cuddle all night. So here's yeah, well, get what's off problem. That. It ain't true. So he moves a lot. He moves a he lot. Snores. Which, uh, is that what he did? Say. He say that? No snoring, just farting. Yeah, other end. just moving around and farting. Yeah. Yep. Well, it, <laughs> hey, I mean, you called him a bear. Okay. Yeah, all right, look. he moving a lot. I move a lot. Yeah. But y'all, you're two months into it. You can't. <laughs> let me, I tell, guess you, the let reason, me tell you something, buddy. It gets way worse than this. Yeah. So. <laughs> I guess the reason there's I bigger like, things coming down the pipe. I can right. assure you. <laughs> I like heavy cover. I you, guess it's because my mother used a big old uh, Wiedemeyer. A dog? Big, yeah, big German dog. She used her to get us out of bed. Oh. Look, ooh. and all we would hear. His mom would say, breakfast ready, go get the boys up. And we'd hear Galloping towards hey, She's wide open, okay, and them, them claws are on that hardwood floor. And she's been outside, so her nose is cold, cold, cold. You know, and hey, all you got on is underwear. Oh, hey, you can't keep her out. <laughs> you can't keep her out of bed. And you can't keep her from getting underneath the covers. Because she's going to stick that cold nose on you. Oh, man. Well, you want to send us out of here, Johnny D? We've had enough time. Oh, we've we've gave him enough to complain about in the that comments. Was, mm -hmm. That was a great one. Look, hey, in the Bible, I'm just going to go with something real quick here. James 5, 16 says it's about confessing your sins to one another that you may be healed. But it does say the prayer of a righteous person has great power and is effective. I had a guy come up to me today at work. His name's Steve. He listens. He's going. He's got cancer. He just diagnosed. A uh, lot going on there. Um, but he said he's believing that no matter what, the Lord can heal him just like that, or the doctors can heal him. So he just asked me to pray for him. So I said, hold on, let me write your name down. So I'm just going to ask for all of our fans. My man's name is Steve. He's from Kentucky. Uh, he's just passing through town, but if y'all could throw out a prayer for him and his cancer, that would be awesome. Um, and I know Steve would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And that's all I got. So, Steve. cause, and the verse is prayer of a righteous person is great power. So yep. remember that Steve? more powerful than you can even imagine. And Steve will be thinking about you. Okay. Buddy. Yeah, that's right. sure. We'll send it one up to the almighty in your favor, my man. Amen. We'll see y'all next time right here on the duck call room. We're out.